So you know how in the recent drop pod there was an improvement to the health of a lot of the vehicles within Halo Infinite? Well, only to the sniper rifle apparently, not to the general weapons like it was basically kind of implied with a lot of the uh, patch notes. Stated here by a 343 employee that they increase sniper shots to kill on light vehicles like Wasp, Banshees, and Mongoose, and medium vehicles like Warhog, Ghost, Chopper, and the Shade Turret by one extra shot. Uh, but they did say that there were some other things that they have intended that they wanted to put into Drop Pod 1, but couldn't quite make it into it due to an integration error, is what they said. Stating that also wanted to increase durability versus small arms, kinetic, plasma, hard light, shock, and explosive, and also slightly increased amount of impulse Warhog takes from damage and they're aiming to put these changes that they basically implied with drop pod one into drop pod two here along with many other tunings which this is like man some of the you know 343 was doing such a great job previously about like stating what was going on with their updates what's changing like during the mcc with those blog updates about what the fixes and changes were they were incredibly detailed but now they're getting a little more vague and things are kind of inconsistent uh, i just hope that things kind of get a little bit better when it comes to this kind of stuff another big change that happened with the drop pod that they didn't mention at all is that they removed the stalker rifle and, and pulse carbine from the playlist when it comes to the sn sniper playlist which which is a great fix. I mean, they kept the Mangler Skewer combo and as well as like the Sniper Shotty combo for the team snipers. Um, but that is like a huge, like directly gameplay impacting change that I would think would need to be addressed when it comes to uh, an update to the game. You know, what can people play? That's directly what people are going to be worrying about. Another little interesting tidbit of Halo news. It looks like the Insider build on Xbox has a new background image, which would mean that like, well, whatever. Yeah, it's a new image. Doesn't really matter. It doesn't really affect me too much. But the thing is, it just kind of shows that they're kind of getting up and closer and closer to the point where we're going to be able to do that co-op flighting that they said was going to happen in July. Because the Insider build lay dormant after the flights that we had for Halo Infinite back in, I believe it was August, I believe it was. Yeah. So this is like a subtle way of saying that progress is being made. And you still have plenty of time to sign up for the Insider program, guys. Make sure you update your DX Diag file if you guys have updated your PCs since the last time you did a flight, like myself included. I recently updated that file to keep a most accurate potential information when it comes to the flight guys uh, the link to this tweet here will be in the description down below if you guys haven't signed up yet definitely go ahead and do that because who doesn't love campaign co-op I think everybody does right really cool thing here we're showing on reddit this is the comparison of the pre drop pod update and the current update right now with Halo Infinite when it comes to the load screens and this is actually like a significant improvement like we know that like yes there has been certainly has been improvements when it comes to the load times but you can see right here like this is like a huge improvement when it comes to loading into the game everything loads in into about 21 seconds right there for this user obviously depending on your hardware things could load faster or slower that's what they mentioned within this, especially with the lower end hardware that 343 stated that you'd see greater improvements but again you can see over here that this is pre-update and this is like taking forever when it comes to just loading into the game quite surprising it would take this long for everything to kind of kick in right uh this is like a huge improvement it's like a, well basically a 100 percent improvement on the load time so that is awesome to see glad to see that this stuff can actually change over time and this is actually one of my biggest concerns when it comes to halo infinite i talked about this before the launch of the game since it is a live service game that you're kind of constantly keep adding in more content especially for the customization which is going to be the main money bring, bringer in for this game that you need to constantly keep that stuff in the game which will kind of bloat the content up a bit uh and so then it kind of concerns me about when it comes to load times and stuff like that but it does seem like 343 has some capabilities of doing some file compression some optimizations to where load times can constantly be improved i think it's just going to be constantly being like this kind of like reset kind of wave kind of thing that's going to be happening with the game moving forward uh over the course of you know a year or two because you know with more content get added in you know things kind of get left behind optimizations get left behind so the load times can get more and more until it gets about to a breaking point they'll probably figure out some more optimizations and bring it back down so it's just gonna be kind of like doing this kind of motion so this is not gonna be a permanent fix i would assume i think it's gonna be over time we will be seeing uh the load times increase again and then you get reset to be better so uh, of course once we get more information about when it comes to load times and optimizations when it comes to halo infinite you know i'll share with you guys here on the channel so a light video today not a whole lot going on in halo guys but if you guys are new to the channel missing content from recently check out this place right here got a link to all my gaming news and informational videos right there thanks so much for watching great i appreciate it i'll catch you all in the next one peace out